Well, uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about uh, RDPMS terminologies. So, in this video, we are going to discuss about RD, RDPMS terminologies. So, what what really happens is that uh, we we store data in a table, and table is something that uh, looks like uh, this. So, this whole uh, thing we call as a table. So this whole thing so we call as a thing we call as table and table essentially stores about some data about this very specific subject so in this case we store everything about emp so about the employee we store his employee id first name last name salary commission department id etc okay and then if you see like we call this as a row whatever I selected here so we call this as a row so essentially the row is something that uh, gives you information about complete information about an employee okay and then if you see there's another thing this is called as a column so this column is something uh, what you can imagine is that uh, it gives me everything all the salaries of the employees so this is called column and then the intersection between row and this column is called a cell or a field okay. so this is called a cell or field okay and then if you see if you see if you notice we have every cells are have some numbers or some characters except commission so that means in case of this commission this commission we do not have any values so those are called null values so those are called not null values and then if you uh, notice in employee id we have something uniquely identified like 100 101 102 103 and 104 so anything so basically what employee id means that this cannot be duplicated and then one employee id can uniquely identify a employee for instance you have 101 larry king you might have another employee who whose name might be larry and last name is king but his employee id would change so essentially what i'm the point here is that this employee id column determines a employee okay so that is called primary key that is called primary key so primary key uniquely identifies a row and then if you see another important thing here is that we have department id so what we have is that we do not know where is the department name where is the department location and all the relevant information but what we know here is that there is some department there is some department which ids are here so what we have is we have in another table we have a department table in department table we have department ids are there and then this department id is referenced here in this emp table and this column is called foreign key. Okay. so this is basically about rtbms terminologies uh, we will use row we use a column we use a not null value we use primary key foreign key in our later chapters